What's up, you guys? James Strickland here. Welcome to week 17 on my road to 2,100 pounds and my continuation on my road to 700 pounds on bench. This week, got a little something different for you, a little exciting. Got dumbbells for my bench day. And this is uh, basically to keep a little pressure off that shoulder, let it continue to heal up, doing very nicely. Uh, seen the doctor a couple times, had him adjust some things, have him massage, uh, basically uh, using what's the equivalent of like a Theragun to get some percussion in there and uh, hit those hit those joints and tendons uh, with a little bit of massage and uh, just open everything up and feeling a heck of a lot better. Um, so this is my first warm-up set with anything heavy. Uh, this is 160 pounds. I've actually never been heavier than 150 pounds on dumbbells just because I haven't been to a gym that's had anything heavier than that. So uh, that was a PR for me, even though it's just a little warm up. Got uh, 180s on deck here. Uh, got a couple guys in the gym here to uh, help me uh, get them on my legs. You'll notice my shorts are fairly clean, and um, these dumbbells haven't been touched uh, by human hands in probably <laughs> in ever. Uh, I don't know anybody that uses them. So uh, you'll notice that I get some dust from those, uh, those dumbbells rubbed off on me. So a little battle scar there. So this is just uh, taking these for a little bit of a, a ride. I think I did three, set, uh, three reps of this just to, to feel something heavier than the 160s. I didn't want to jump straight into the 200s. Uh, I don't advise anybody uh, to, to jump right on into your working set without some sort of a uh, moderate warm up. The best way to warm up is definitely doing the actual exercise itself just lighter weight just working on staying tight I actually got a little lightheaded the first time I did those 180s just because I hadn't held them uh, and had to stay really tight so uh, time has come to roll out the 200s so this is a uh, little bit of a workout just in, in and of itself roll these out get them in position here so um, you know, back a little bit about the shoulder. Uh, my left shoulder, uh, as you guys know from some of my other recaps, uh, kind of started messing with me a little bit, and uh, I was afraid it was a rotator uh, cuff, and it is not. Uh, had the doctor look at it. Doctor did some X-rays and everything. Uh, looks good with the joints. Uh, we're just um, basically adjusting some things, moving things into place, and uh, strengthening up everything around that. Here I am putting on some uh, hand armor liquid chalk. Uh, I tend to like the liquid chalk. Uh, when it's hot or when I'm sweating a lot, uh, it stays on a little better uh, than the block chalk. Uh, I still prefer the block chalk, but uh, sometimes I just need to switch it up a little bit. And sometimes I'll use both, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, I've actually kind of started liking the liquid chalk for my deadlifts, and I'll use the, the block chalk for just about everything else. It's a pretty hot day in Houston. Uh, this is on a Monday, uh, probably midday, about 12, 12 noon. Uh, it's about 100 degrees outside, so as you can imagine, those fans in that gym, it's not real, it's, there's no AC, so it's pretty hot. Still weighing in about 285, uh, so weight is holding nicely. Uh, definitely feel uh, my strongest, uh, pretty much just uh, not worrying about weight. Uh, as long as I'm not too light, you know, 260s or too heavy, and then my 290s, I typically feel very strong. So uh, pop that first one up there, no big deal. Get a little help with the second one just because uh, it can throw me off balance lean it over i don't want to tweak anything uh, unnecessarily uh, trying to get that up into position so first set here my goal of the day was to do at least 12. Uh, ronnie coleman uh, back when he was in his prime did 12 and i've always watched that video on youtube and i really have uh, never thought i'd even be at this position to to even do one rep so let's see how many we get So I got 12 and I was trying to go for 13, just did, didn't quite get it out of the uh, hole there, uh, wasn't worth struggling. Um, I pretty much knew I was going to want to take a second set. Um, first one is, is generally, uh, I don't want to say a warm up, but definitely primes the CNS. I've never felt 200s before. Um, so I uh, was aiming to go uh, as many as I could get on this next set. Um, I'm still not maxing out. 
uh, even though I uh, technically am going to failure, I'm not going to absolute failure. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I had uh, 13 to 14 reps on that last set, but I don't want to press it, um, you know, push my luck, if you will, especially, you know, because I'm nursing a shoulder, uh, I'm doing dumbbells to make things better, not make them worse. So going on a second set here, uh, if I would have gotten one, it would have felt off. I would have just shut it down. So just getting some more volume in here. And I recognize that, uh, you know, I'm not doing 500 plus on barbell uh, right now. So that does mess, mess with my mind just a little bit. Uh, but doing 200s uh, for dumbbells is very similar. Uh, and I would say almost identical to doing 495 on bench. So I think you can kind of chalk this up to being about 12 reps on bench press with 495. And uh, second set here, I got 10 reps, uh, so total of 22 reps for the day. You can see my shorts there are pretty dirty. So uh, I've got the set of speed bench uh, that's called for uh, after my main set. This is 495. Uh, I can tell you the 200s uh, were uh, definitely a little tougher than this. So I wanted to see how the barbell felt on the shoulder because that's really what's what was bugging my uh, my shoulder. couple reps here no issues whatsoever feels good so that gives me confidence that if we need to go back to barbell next week we're good to go so moving on to some dips here they didn't have my typical weighted dip set up so I went ahead and threw on uh, uh, 500 worth of plates and uh, the machine here and just uh, did as best range of motion as I could I couldn't really keep my legs down and that seat belt wouldn't fit me but uh, did uh, two sets of five with uh, 500 plus or minus a few pounds here and there for the for the angle hit those triceps a little bit moving on to some banded flies this is just uh, pretty light just a blood flow but really getting the uh, the pecs engaged here and uh, this really actually helps me stretch those rear delts a little bit just getting some uh, some blood flow in this is really nice uh, for midway through the bench workout just to uh, just to open everything up a little bit get a little tight uh, doing everything and this just kind of helps me to to break up that mundaneness. All right, so I needed to do chest supported rows and I didn't have anything set up in here, so I went ahead and just did T-bar rows. I uh, did this with uh, 215 to start and then uh, a little bit too easy. So I went ahead and increased it as much as I could. Uh, I think that's about 225 worth of plates there. Didn't really measure the bar, so who knows what that is. But uh, this is uh, four sets of six. Didn't quite get enough out of that, so I went ahead and used my band that I use for my warm-ups and just to get a little more uh, resistance here. I believe that uh, my band has seen enough of good days and I decided to go ahead and just bail on me there. You can see it slapped me right in the trap. So I went ahead and just kind of got a little drop set because I was pretty pissed off. Uh, glad it didn't hit me in the eye though. But definitely we'll have to get another band. Uh, that band has served me well. Show you guys what happened. A little close up slow mo where it hit me. I'm pretty sure it just uh, snagged on that little rusty bottom down there and uh, just cut it clean off. All right, so moving on to some uh, monastery extensions, working the triceps. We've got three sets. First set is 12, second is 10, and I believe this one I'm showing you guys is the max rep set. Really working on getting good extension. So the tricep was uh, kind of the focal point of what was bothering me in my shoulder issue. Uh, issue. I don't want to say shoulder, but it, it's hard to really pinpoint where it is. It's kind of where the uh, the anterior delt uh, and the tricep and the delt and the uh, the outer delt meat uh, and it's just just a soreness in there and it was tricep related but triceps are on fire right now uh, in a good way so it's nothing 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 bad and uh, finishing out the day here with some uh, high pulley cable curls uh, this is uh, three sets 12 10 and 9 with 80 pounds but uh, feeling uh, very confident going forward 
no injuries uh, are keeping me uh, from anything crazy. Obviously, we had a change-up training this week, uh, which is nice because it uh, broke up kind of the, um, believe it or not, bench started getting a little bit uh, boring for me. Uh, squat and deadlift is still pretty exciting, uh, but that happens uh, when it's not the focal point, uh, so uh, no big deal here. Sometimes you just got to change up your atmosphere, change up your, uh, your approach uh, just to keep on moving forward. So moving on, day two, got some squats here. This is uh, <clears throat> 615 on the bar. Set calls, uh, top set anyways, after my warm-ups and everything, uh, called for a set of two with 615. So it's uh, a little bit, little bit difficult uh, to get in there with the low bar. And it's not quite as low as it has been, but I uh, kind of did a little hybrid this week just to move my hands out a little bit and get into position a little better. Don't want to irritate the shoulder too much, especially not now but uh, really working on opening up the hips and getting down there. See how these look. Feeling good. A little bit high, probably about an inch or so there. And I knew it when I did it, so I went ahead and bottomed it out as much as I could there. Just a little tight in the hips. Uh, I think that could have been a little bit lower on that one. I don't know if uh, that was just due to um, Maybe not rolling out the hips enough, but uh, we'll address that next week. Still happy that I moved 615 for two there. So moving on, I've got some speed squats. Uh, this is 480 pounds on the bar. Four sets of three. So basically just doing some triples here, working on moving that bar as quickly and as tight as possible. I don't want to be sloppy on anything that I do that's speed related. So uh, moving on set two here. Going good. Mind you, when I go on to my speed sets, I typically uh, am pretty gassed from my main set, so I am not fresh by any means. Uh, so the weight, it, even though it's 480 pounds, it feels like it's 600. But uh, after I watch it on film, I typically feel a little bit better. When I'm doing it, it does not feel as fast as I would like it. When I watch it uh, in between sets, uh, it assures me that I'm, I'm doing what I need to do. All right, last of the squats today is paused squats with 430. Two sets of three. Really working on holding a, a squeeze down at the bottom. Not really focusing on coming out of the hole with any kind of absolute power. Just really working the squat, really feeling that mind-muscle connection. Uh, by this point of the, the squat day, uh, I'm pretty much uh, taxed out on squats. Uh, and so I'm just looking forward to getting the last few reps out of the way. Uh, but overall though, uh, squats, uh, I can remember you know, sitting there uh, doing this last few reps here and really just being, uh, being happy that squats felt as good as they, they have been lately. So I'm really excited going into the meet. So I've got some uh, double overhand um, deadlift holds. This is just working my grip a little bit more. And I've got the squat bar obviously so it makes it a little tougher. Uh, first set is uh, 440 for 15 seconds, and the second set that I don't have videoed is uh, 380 for uh, 15 seconds. And uh, here I've got some awkward one leg glute bridges. I've got two sets of 12, really firing off that hamstring. Um, by this point of the day, hamstrings are pretty much on fire, so I'm trying to get as much mobility in there as I can. Of course, that 45 doesn't help, it's pretty heavy an awkward thing to do. I've tried dumbbells, tried to plate. But uh, I, as long as I'm feeling it in the hamstring, that's uh, all that matters. Of course, I'll hit uh, GHRs next, and that'll really uh, finish off those hamstrings. So here's my modified GHR with the uh, I'm basically holding two plates there. Uh, set called for 30 pounds, but I'm just holding a 25 and a 10 just to make it easy. Got uh, three sets of six on this. Really, wor really working on not this not being a lower back exercise, but a hamstring. So I'm really making sure that my hamstrings are what is staying tight and my lower back is not even involved in this. So it's not quite an ideal GHR setup, but if you don't have one, I think it works quite fine. Moving on, day three. Pretty short day here. 
going on I've got the uh, hammer strength overhead press this is the full stack I believe it's 240 some odd pounds here very light for me uh, two sets of 12 this is just kind of keeping the shoulders in the game no shoulder issues whatsoever on any of my overhead pressing movements uh, so that's a good thing show you a couple sets here and uh, this is the shortest day of my workout week I literally am in and out and uh, total workout actual workout time is probably 45 minutes or less the other days anywhere from two hours to, to four hours and that's including rest time obviously between sets so moving on here got uh, my standing one arm rear delt cable flies this is 50 pounds uh, three sets of 15 these light up those rear delts quite a bit um, and actually I do feel uh, on my rear delt obviously and my tricep uh, area on my left arm I do feel this lighted up quite a bit more than on the right uh, so there's there's a weakness in there uh, that I definitely want to target uh, that could definitely be the uh, the point where my soreness or my inflammation is coming from that was causing my rotator and my shoulder issues a couple weeks back uh, so this is definitely a good exercise and I'm really focusing on getting a good burn and um, I don't want a pain in there but I definitely want to feel I changed the angle there slightly you can see I went downward just a little bit to to hit right at that tender spot I really want to focus on that and get it working moving on I've got some uh, some light dumbbell benches uh, three sets of 20 here with 100 pounds these felt extremely light compared to the 200s that I hit just a couple days prior. So I put my feet up here just for good measure, make sure I'm really working. I want to get some core work in as well. This is a good way to just work on your stabilizers. If you don't have your feet to help you balance and just help you out, I wouldn't do it with extremely heavy weight. And last thing of the day is uh, some T3 raises. Holding them up there at the top. These really help fire off uh, those rhomboids and those uh, those rear delts obviously your your whole shoulder joint is going to feel this this is uh, three sets of ten doesn't need to be real heavy at all uh, ten pounds is plenty uh, in fact I feel a difference when I go to twelve pounds uh, it really doesn't need to be uh, you know 35 or 40 pound dumbbell anything like that it doesn't uh, this is not a max effort exercise this is an accessory that's meant to, to keep your shoulders healthy really helps you open them up and keep some mobility in there so my schedule is back on track, uh, doing a little bit of traveling here in the next couple weeks, which will kind of switch things up, but it's nice to have an uninterrupted uh, workout week. So day four, last day of the week on Fridays typically for me, doing some paused squats with 365 just to warm up the legs and get those, uh, those explosive uh, quads firing off for deadlifts, which is the main focus of today. These just uh, five quick reps of uh, 365 pause squats I'm using the Texas Power Bar here. Same one I'm going to be deadlifting with here in a minute. But uh, thanks to uh, Texas Power Bars, obviously, for uh, supplying me with my workout bars that I can uh, use at uh, here at Dynamic Fitness that I'm working out at. feeling good so this is my first warm-up here uh, or my first heavy warm-up anyways 585 basically just kind of a form check making sure that uh, everything is firing off correctly and actually I may have misspoke there that may have been my 675 warm-up didn't show you guys my 585 that was my 675 warm-up here I am putting on some hand armor liquid chalk again uh, like I said I prefer this for deadlifts waving it off here it's just goes on as a liquid and uh, as your hands dry in about a minute or so it becomes literally a layer of chalk and um, you'll see obviously it works uh, quite well so I've got 715 on the bar set today called for 710 and uh, I actually could not fit 710 on the bar because of the number of plates that I could fit on there so I went in the head went ahead and put uh, two tens instead show you a side view here I've got a crowd so that's uh, that's cool 
little bit of a straight leg there. Um, I know exactly what was wrong there. I need to basically keep my head and my sternum uh, in a higher starting position, and that will help keep those uh, legs engaged the whole time. But nothing we can't work on here in the next six weeks or so, so not worried at all. Uh, I was really happy with the 650 by 2 last week in position, uh, so we just need to get back to that. Moving on here, got some speed deadlifts. This is 525. You saw that first set there. Uh, I strapped up for this one. My grip started kind of slipping, and uh, my grip is, is obviously uh, holding on very well to hold on to 715 and not have a problem, so it's not a big deal to strap up, get some uh, working sets in here. This is three sets of three. So got some head-supported rows next. This is 280 pounds on the bar, three sets of five. Very easy, actually. I was expecting these to feel a lot heavier. Last week, they felt a little off. Uh, this week, I feel really, really good about them. It's just getting some more back in the, in the mix. Big back, big bench. So, obviously, big back will help you with your deadlift and your squat. All right, so we've got some uh, Meadows rows. I was a little worried about this one. Um, you know, like I said before, you know, anything that's going to be using... Uh, my lat, my back, my shoulder, you know, that left side uh, is still worrisome to me because I want to make sure that everything is 100%. I don't want to re-aggravate it. So uh, I warmed everything up and, um, you know, make sure that I hit some, some weight before this, uh, before I go hopping into um, the uh, 200 pounds here. So I definitely hit like a plate, hit two plates, hit three plates, and then kind of kept going up. So I've got uh, three sets of five here with each arm. pretty good I feel like my uh, endurance is definitely building up my strength is obviously building up I normally take a little bit longer break in between each arm just because of the lactic acid that builds up and just the fatigue uh, so felt pretty good moving on set two here these are extremely heavy but it is very cool how this is feeling lighter each week and the weight goes heavier. Last set. Good to go. Got some suitcase deadlifts here with 170 pounds, two sets of two. Basically, just hitting two reps with uh, with both. Just working on grip. Just working a little bit of the core and obliques here. Doesn't need to be anything overly crazy. That was quick. All right, so moving on. Got one of my last sets here. This is neutral grip lat pull downs. This is uh, basically the full stack here. Uh, this is with an extra plate, 240 pounds, three sets of 12. These really, really light up the lats, uh, but that's obviously what they're meant to do. Uh, these, um, these can be quite mental for me as well. I mean, I know I obviously have a, uh, a strong back, but uh, this is probably one of the more difficult exercises for me, uh, but knocked them out, no big deal. They felt very easy this week. And as all you guys know, this is uh, kind of the end of day four here where I show my, my static uh, plate holds. This is to work specificity in the grip. Your uh, ring finger and your pinky fingers are typically the first to slip if you're going to lose your grip on deadlift, regardless of the type of grip you have, unless you have straps, obviously. And so this works on uh, keeping that grip strong, keeping it in place. And it uh, doesn't have to be uh, too terribly heavy. Uh, these actually didn't bother me at all this week. Last week, and my uh, my tendons and my my bones were kind of hurting a little bit just because of the uh, the pressure that I was putting on my pinkies and my ring fingers. Just it was uncomfortable, basically. 
Uh, had a little bit of slippage, but this week, no big deal at all. Uh, I did skip a week when I was out of town, so that could definitely have played a role in that, but uh, nothing major. But this is going to wrap it up for week 17. Next week, week 18, uh, we are going to be doing some, uh, some dumbbells, so that's exciting. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to go for uh, PR on dumbbells without, uh, obviously, Max now. I don't know if I'm doing anything crazy. Uh, we're going to do one more week of dumbbells just to keep everything safe and secure with that shoulder. Still building strength, so it's not uh, not like just because I'm not doing barbell that it's keeping me uh, behind in any way. I feel very, very confident about going about 660 or so at the meet uh, to break the all-time world record in a full meet at the 308 weight class for bench. Looking forward to uh, putting up some pretty big numbers on squats. A little too early to tell what the numbers might be. Obviously, the goal is over 7. Uh, deadlift is looking pretty strong to go uh, high sevens, uh, so we will see. Uh, obviously, meet day can tell a completely different story, as we all know from the last meet. Uh, strength can be there, but just the numbers just don't happen the way you want them to, but uh, no big deal. But, um, you know, I definitely appreciate every single one of you guys that have uh, subscribed. Uh, I have about uh, 5,500 of you guys right now, and that's pretty awesome considering the first of this year. Uh, I was barely 300. So uh, if you guys have any particular uh, comments uh, that you maybe want to share with me personally or you have any ideas for videos, please let me know. I would love to chat with you. Uh, I hang out quite a bit on Instagram. Uh, if you guys know that, I, I chat with a lot of my followers over there. But if you haven't already, uh, please like and subscribe. Definitely follow me on Instagram. And thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. And tune in next week. See you.